Okay, good afternoon YouTube. Uh, welcome to my channel and um, if you're new to the channel basically what I do is I, I do what I call watch show and tells. Um, I tell you a little bit about you know the, the movement or what kind of movement the watch has in it. Um, most importantly is size of the watch, band measurement, case measurement, uh, weight, sometimes exact weight, sometimes you know uh, weight off the website. And um, basically I started doing these watches or these videos because I've been collecting watches for years, and one thing I found difficult was when you're looking to buy a watch, you really don't know what it's going to look like on your wrist till you get it home. And uh, so I eventually pulled the trigger on my first Invicta. It was the Invicta 5730 Venom, and since then I've just been picked. I've just been addicted to these dive watch, uh, these dive style watches, and specifically the Invicta brand. Android definitely uh, is definitely creeping up with some very nice models. And so I've been um, basically showing those off to you folks, and uh, there seems to be a really big following for people who are into the big uh, dive watch thing, and uh, or the big chunky large face watches. And so whatever I get my hands on, then I make a purchase, or uh, my buddies pick up. Um, I'm, uh, they they're nice enough to let me uh, go ahead and drop a quick show and tell. So um, again, what what I found most important, um, and what I find most important about my video is that I'll show you what the watch looks like on my wrist. And I'm, I have about a seven inch wrist. I'm about 170 pounds um, and about five foot eight inches tall. So it's a kind of a good representation of what this watch may look like on your wrist. I think that's most important, so you can picture yourself on uh, what you know what that wa that flashy watch is going to look like. Um, so then I started doing um, once I do the the, si the single watch videos, I started doing side by sides because I found that okay, well now you picked up your first watch, now you want to pick up another one because that's how this addiction works. Um, and, uh, you know, what a better way than to see it next to something you already own. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. So I have a pretty good collection, and I'm just doing side-by-side -side comparisons, even on some old models. Like, I mean, I'm even going to do a comparison where it's like a Casio G-Shock versus like, you know, maybe a, another, wa like a, an Android watch in all black or something like that. Um, just so you can get an idea, maybe you're not used to wearing the dive watch. Maybe you've only worn a Casio watch before, a G-Shock, which is a great watch. Um, you know, and now maybe you want to try something different. Maybe you're not sure what it's going to look like. You know, you're so used to having that large black rubber watch. Maybe, you know, maybe you want to try the Invicta, but you're not sure. So I think these videos are, are really helpful to people to be able to uh, get an idea of what they're looking for and to go ahead and make that purchase. Um, let me go ahead and name drop also. FatCatWatches.com is my website. You can go there and check out more pictures, more links. I'm, I'm updating pictures and links every day. I like to just kind of go around town, snap a picture, and it updates all the social media. Um, just because it's, it's really cool to, to constantly see new pictures in different scenes and settings. Um, I don't know. I'm really into the watches. Uh, so uh, I, it seems like uh, my 360 subscribers agree that it's, uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, I thank you guys for signing up. So um, with all that rambling, let's go on to our, our uh, side by side comparison today. Today I'm going to be comparing uh, two Android watches. Uh, if you'll notice my channel, I'm, I'm busting out uh, the Android watches. I want to get all those videos done, then I move on to the the Invictus, so I can kind of keep it organized here. I can start to forget what I've made and what I haven't, so I've been writing all this stuff down. So today we're going to be doing the watch show and tell with these two bad boys right here by Android USA, not the operating system AndroidUSA.com. Okay, and they're uh, kind of they've been around for a while, but they really started, in my opinion, some of their new models in the last like year or so that I've seen coming out are just really they're they're really making some good design decisions. So let's start off with the gold one here. Okay, this one here I just picked up. This one here is the Android Enforcer model. Okay, um, this has got a 50 millimeter case. I had the uh, information pulled up here, but I don't want to slow down the video. So I'll tell you what I remember about the watch. Um, both, both, uh, most of the Android watches that you'll find in the automatic movement, such as this one, are powered by a Seiko automatic movement with 24 joules, I believe. If you know anything about joules, uh, or if you know anything about automatic movement, when you have the joules in there, they actually put joules uh, on, on wear points because they don't wear out like metal. So you get a much longer life. Um, there's a debate whether or not more joules is better. I think there's a point in how many, uh, how many joules you have in a watch. Just because you may have 50, it doesn't, if you can even have 50, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to last longer. So 24 joules, 23 joules is kind of like a good average number for a watch that's going to last. Um, and it's a Seiko movement. You really can't go wrong with what a Seiko movement for what I've read about. A very old brand. They've been around forever. They've been making movements forever. So, um, fantastic. Uh, case measurement on this one as far as thickness, I believe is 20 millimeters. And then you have the 50 to 52. I think depending on whether you measure at the bezel or with the crown protector, uh, figure on 52 average. Um, this was done in a full mirror polish yellow gold. 
Uh, they do make this one in kind of a gunmetal, which is pretty cool if you're not really into the flashy watches. Um, and they also make it in a uh, gold with the blue, which I think is pretty classy. And uh, they also make it in the polished uh, silver, which is a great, you can't go wrong with that. Um, this one here, I opted this one because I really like the all gold face. And if you look at this one, it has a really deep dish face on it, which is really interesting because not a lot of watches have that, okay? The only other watch I can think of that I have anyway that has a deep dish like that is going to be the Hydromax, which is just a chunk. This is a really classy looking watch. I mean, sometimes I get desensitized because I wore this to work the other day and some guy was like, wow, thing's beautiful. And I forget, you know, because I'm so used to wearing the, you know, now I'm into the Grand Arsenal Invictus, which is, you know, 63 millimeters. I, sometimes I feel like I wear a 50 millimeter watch. It just doesn't feel big anymore. But I mean, this is, that was just a good reminder. This is an amazing watch, folks. This is my favorite color in the Enforcer. I mean, you can't grow off all gold. And then you have a little bit of silver uh, screws in there too that are polished. So you have a little bit of two-tone look. Okay, um, yeah, not, not much else to say about it. I was going to tell you about the band width and measurement, but uh, I don't want—I don't want, like I said, I don't want to slow down the video. I do know it weighs about 11 ounces, 12 ounces, and it's roughly about 24 millimeter width on the band. Uh, just a beautiful watch. This next one right now, I'm not going to say where, but they got a sweet deal on this one right now, um, under 100 bucks. I mean. You, I mean, it's amazing. If you go into like a, a department store, look at what you get for a hundred bucks. You're not gonna get a watch like this. I mean, no way. So this one here is the Android Silver Jet, and they make a lot of different Silver Jets. And it's a little confusing because if you start looking for Silver Jet, you're gonna find ones that are like not only this particular you know case style, but different colors and all this stuff and different movements. But then also, um, you're gonna find ones that don't even look like this. So I don't know if they just kind of like use the Silver Jet name over and over again. It doesn't make any sense to me. But this one is what's known for as the actual Silver Jet. Really interesting band on this model. That's kind of what sold me. And actually, my dad picked up one of these, and he's like, I bought myself a watch. He never buys himself anything. And when he saw it, I was like, that is really nice. And uh, they picked me one up for my birthday. So thanks, Mom and Dad. So this one's got what they call the sandwich case design, where you can actually see the, the case is sandwiched in between uh, this outer portion of the case. Uh, I'm not sure really how to describe that. Um, Invicta calls it a case and cradle. Uh, where the actual case is cradled by this outer case, I guess. Um, all these are threaded, okay, so you can actually size this yourself without any tools other than a small screwdriver. It's a little bit tricky because it's, it's a very small slot there, so you might actually have to buy a tool, but it's a little easier than banging out a pin, in my opinion. Um, this one here is the quartz movement, and with the black face, it's not a chronograph or anything like that. So, But if you, I'm telling you, I'm not going to say where, but right now, you can pick this one up for a smoking deal. And they make it a lot of different color faces. They have a blue, lime green, purple, and black, of course, and I think an orange. So you, you really get some. I like the. I thought the black was pretty cool, but I kind of wouldn't mind getting something like maybe a lime green or something like that. So let me go ahead and throw this on. Um, this one's also a 50 millimeter watch by. I think I got this one pulled up here by 19 millimeters in case thickness. So they're both pretty similar. I mean, when you start looking at a watch, it's 19. Yeah, I think the Enforcer is actually at 20. When you start looking at a, a watch that's, you know, um, again, I'm a little desensitized, but when you're looking at a watch that's 50 millimeter with a 20 millimeter or 19 millimeter thickness, that, that's a big watch, folks. Really nice looking. Amazing, again, amazing what you get for your money with Android. All right, let me go ahead and throw this one on the other wrist here so you can get an idea. Again, I, like I said before, I don't wear two watches. Um, at the same time, although lately I, you know, I kind of want to, but <laughs> who does that? Now I think the Enforcer might be. Now the, the deep dish face, what makes it almost look like it's bigger, but it's really not. Two really sweet watches by Android. I'm telling you, if you're an Invicta fan and you haven't picked up an Android yet, do so. One guy messaged me the other day and he said, oh, "I got my Android."